fight number three brought to you by my good friend Wayne Brown. Extreme Fire Protection hooking us up. Again, we only deal with the best. If you need something in that area, one call. Extreme Fire Protection. We appreciate their support. And they are hooking you up tonight with an amateur kickboxing bout scheduled for three two-minute rounds. Have you looked at your card, ladies? I'm going to hear some noise from you on this one. Coming out first. She stands five foot six inches tall. She weighed in 133.5 pounds. Currently undefeated as a kickboxer. Doing it for SLC Muay Thai. Let's hear it for Marina Alex. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming out to the cage right now, we've got Marina Alex. She is 30 years old, weighing in at 133.5 pounds. She's standing five feet, six inches tall with a record of 1-0-0 in kickboxing. What do we know about her, Ryan? Well, we know she's coming from Team SLC Muay Thai, yes. right? They've been around for quite some time, just in different forms. Yes, with uh, Alexis over there. Yes, yes, exactly. And she's coming out here. She is undefeated. Um, looks good. I'm curious what her opponent's looking at. Like. Yeah, let's see. All right, her opponent tonight going to be fighting out of the black corner. Stands five foot four inches tall. Mr. Contracted Weight came in at 137.5. Currently with a kickboxing record of 0 and 1. Doing it for Cash Valley MMA. Let's hear it for Kara Gutierrez. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have Cara Gutierrez walking out right now. She stands five foot four inches tall. She's 33 years old. She has a record of 0, 1, and 0, and she's coming out of Team Cash Valley MMA. What do we know about that? Well, we know she is the better half of the duo tonight. That, that's right. Her, we talked about that earlier. Her husband came out uh, at the beginning of the night with a with an impressive win through yes. the unanimous decision. Uh, she is out there training at the same gym, Co uh, Cash Valley MMA, with head coach Kofi, uh, who you saw coming out with her again. So she's going to see if she can kind of round out that score and uh, have the, uh, the the family coming home with two wins tonight. That's right. That's right. Now, I did forget to announce the weight, though. We yes. did actually miss that contracted weight of 135 yes. pounds. We came in at 137 and a half pounds. Yes, she came in two and a half pounds over, yes. and uh, her opponent decided to let her take the fight still. And, and when you come in over, it is up to your, your opponent, opponent whether or not they're going to continue to take the fight. As long as you're within a certain variance. Yeah, if you're too heavy, you yeah, then to, they, to go to another weight class. Mm -hmm. And then, and then it's to, up to the, the commission whether or not you get a fight. Well, that's when you put rocks in your pockets. Yeah, exactly. Nice exchange. Uh, Kara's coming very out with active. some good aggression. She's moving well, a lot. Remember, her more. husband was very active. Yeah, no, they, absolutely. They probably train together. It, you would think. <laughs> if you're punching, they can't. Yep, she's throwing some great That's combos, kind of too. I like that she's, right. after landing a few of those shots, even even though you see that uh, Marina is, is covering up, she's still throwing those and then going to the body with the kicks. Well, and and it's, it's hard to throw when people are throwing at you. Yes, it you really is. you to counter those to interrupt that timing a little bit. Yeah, and, and it, honestly, it's a not something that you can train someone just off the street how to punch when they're getting hit. No, that no. is something that is kind of just in you. You yes. have to be that kind of person. I know myself, when I get hit, I become the dumbest person <laughs> that you've ever met. I might be able to talk someone through an armbar any day of the week, but you start punching me, and I can't remember how to move my hips. You, you get this combobulated. Yes, right? exactly. Well, I mean, they're doing a great job, and I'd say, I mean, Kara's very, very active. Again, another good, another good fight. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, their pace is slowing down just a little bit, but that's going to happen when you throw as many punches right in the first 30 seconds to a minute as what you saw Kara throw at the beginning of this fight. Agreed, agreed. Ooh, nice overhand oh, yeah. from Kara. I like how she's working her uh, kicks in with her punches. <laughs> I, I agree. There's, not, there's, a, there's a kind of dump. Yep, and that you got Tyler Thompson, the referee, is over there talking to Kara, saying, <laughs> you, you can't do that. <laughs> this, this is not Muay Thai. You can't, you can't, you can't do, do that. that one. Ooh, Ooh, nice. Nice, nice combo. Yeah, I, you were talking about the, the kicks that you see Kara throwing, too. One thing I'm really impressed by is that she's She's throwing those, up. yes, it, it's not just I'm going to throw a kick without setting it up. She's throwing punches, and then in the middle of that routine, she's throwing a kick to the body or a kick to the leg, and she's continuing that motion instead of just resetting and throwing it on its own, and I like seeing that. Well, that's how you get kicks to the leg. Right? Yes, yeah, because you get the hands up here looking at those punches, and then you throw that kick, and it lands right to the abdomen because the hands are up covering the head. That's what we mean when we say set those kicks up, right? Yes, With yes. Their hands. That's throwing the punch if they raise them up. Yep. Boom, you land a kick. Yep, that's exactly what we mean when we say setting it up. So, uh, your takeaways from this first round, Ryan? It, my takeaways? Great fight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, absolutely. But I would say that Kara came away with that, the, with the win on that round, 10 9. I, um, I think I so think, too. Again, very active, very aggressive. Uh, much, much like her husband, right? Yes. They both came out. I think I said the same thing about her husband. Very aggressive, very, very aggressive. active. Yes. Um, but I would say this was a little bit more, uh, not as back and forth as the husband's fight. I would say that Kara got this round a little bit. Yeah, I, I think so too. Uh, one thing I was noticing in between rounds is how much more tired Kara looked. And you're seeing that right now kind of pay off at the beginning of this round. <laughs> Marina came out firing. Yes, and Mar Marina came out with a lot more energy. Kara's answering. Yes, she is. Oh, nice off defense. But yeah, no, Marina came alive in this round. I think that that little break. Oh, these ladies are going. This is great. I, I think uh, that might have been the game plan was just weather the storm for the first round. Or had a pep talk in the corner and said, hey, go out there and punch her. Yeah, but, pro go yeah hit possibly. Her. This is definitely a. A much more aggressive Marina in this round than what we saw in the first round. Yes, yes. Scoring, scoring a lot better. Yes. A, a much more even pace in this round. Yes. Throw it. Very nice, very nice. Nice. With that pace, we, we're getting a little fatigued, it looks like. Oh. We're taking, slowing down a little bit. But then she's exploding in. Uh -huh. I like uh -huh. seeing that. Take a breath. Have you, her come you, in. So you can it in. Now, it looks like Kara's slowing down as well, though. Yes, well, you're going to. It's going to happen, but I, I like that they're both kind of taking these seconds to, to breathe a little bit, but then as soon as they come back in, they're throwing. Just like that, they're throwing. <laughs> you know, talking in the first round about how it's hard to, to throw punches when you're getting hit, it doesn't seem to be a factor for Marina in this round. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I think Marina just said, let's fight. <laughs> Yeah. Let's it, do it. Sometimes she right there. Hit, she's taking a shot right and throwing back. one right back. These ladies are putting on a hell of a show right now. This yep. this second round well, is a, a I lot just, more lively. I just heard Kofi screaming from the corner. Give yeah. me some power. <laughs> Give me some power. <laughs> Give me some power. I love it. Nate, we're going to see uh, round number three. This this round's about to be over in a couple seconds. There you go. They're going to go to their corner. Their coaches are going to yell at them, do whatever That's they got to right. do. And, and when I say yell, I think it's going to be Kofi coming in with, look at that energy, <laughs> just running across. And, um, you know, if you're over in Kara's corner uh -huh. and you're Kofi, what are you telling her that she needs to do well, in this third round? I already know what he's saying. Give me some power. He's been saying that for at least, you know, the last 45 seconds. You know, if I was Kofi, I'd say go back to that kind of, we have to push through one more round. Okay? Yes. Give me three more minutes. Yep. Okay. Well, two, two more minutes. Two, yeah, two give minutes, me two yeah. more minutes, right? Give me two more minutes. I would be giving a pep talk in that corner. You can do two minutes. You've done this how many times? Hit her, you know, hit her and hit, hit her, her again, hit her. Yep. and just kind of give it to her. And, and he's he's basically telling her that, saying you need to be aggressive, you need to go in there. I, I'm not sure everything he said because I suck at lip reading, but he's definitely doing that. And you look over in Marina's corner, and uh, 
Alexis is over there and getting her ready and just kind of pumping her up with the conversation. It's a little bit different coaching yeah. approaches. Uh, instead of the, the energy of you get up, get up, get up, it's you're doing great, keep keep it up, keep, keep it your up. hands up, keep you know well, walking you know, it, her through it more strategically. Fighter, right? yeah. Each fighter is different, responds in a different way. Oh yeah, yeah. So different things are gonna motivate different people. You know, when uh, back in the day, not to talk about myself while these ladies are putting on a hell of a show, but what was the most effective thing for me was my brother being in my corner screaming at me and cursing because my ears tuned into it a lot better than anybody else that would corner me. I hear you, you I know? hear you. Not so effective on some other people. Now, and funny thing, uh, and the Ooh, beautiful, nice. look at that kick. Now, this is like probably the, more the aggression the coach was looking for. Yeah, and that was a great side thrust kick, too, and I like that not just that it landed and that it was a beautiful kick, that I like that Marina's face right afterwards was a smile, like oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> and then right back into the middle. Well, I mean, these ladies are giving us quite the performance. That was not a dump, that was more kind yeah. of a, sh a shove. That, well, in more of a trip. Shove trip. Yeah, she, well, not, not being tripped. She was, the pressure, she kind of tripped over her feet. Oh, he's giving her an eight count. Oh, wow. He's, he's counting that as a knockdown. Okay. All right. Wow. All right. I didn't know that. I didn't know. It, well, it took him a second to start counting. Yeah. So we, both of us thought it was more of a fumble yeah. tripping over her own feet. But no, that's going to get scored as a knockdown, which makes a big difference for yes, those judges. Yes. It would make a big difference in how this round is scored. That, that, that is enough to steal a round away. Yeah. It, it, if that is a the knockdown, then I agree. Especially I mean, with how well these are team yeah. are. are and <laughs> they they are pairing up so well. Her, stay on her. And she is. She's coming in. She, uh, she's coming in. Like it. And, and now you've got Marina turning it yep, around. Marina's and turning it up. <laughs> These ladies are putting on a hell they of a show. Are. Go. These, oh, warriors, nice. these ladies are warriors right now. They are all heart at this oh, point. You can see the fatigue on both it. of them. They're both just throwing shots. Show of love and appreciation. I absolutely love seeing that. That was a hell of a fight. That was a great fight. So, I'm going to ask you a tough question. How do you score that? Uh, that's a hard one because yeah. with that knockdown, it's going to change the way that that third round goes, potentially. Uh, I think that Kara did a lot at the beginning of the first round with that big push kick, uh, with a couple other shots that she was able to land, but then getting a standing eight count against her is, is going to kind of pull that away. So I could see that either being a split round or uh, turning in from a 10-9 for Kara to a 10-9 for Marina. So that one's a hard one to score. Looking at the first round, I think that was 100% Kara. Uh -huh. The second round, again, went right back to that. I don't know who to score that one for. So I think that Kara took the first round. Uh -huh. it, me not being a judge, I'm going to say that that second round was a draw in my eyes. It was just a really good fight for both ladies, and I don't want to pick sides. And then that third round, just because of the knockdown, I would say go, I, I would give it to Marina. So I would say it's up to the judges on this one, not me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, about as political as I can be on it. <laughs> that was a good way of trying to shirk your way out of that one. Yes, yes. I, I appreciate you um, asking me a question that <laughs> I, I couldn't well, effectively answer. See, here's the, here's the key. If I ask you, then I don't have to answer. Oh, great. I like it. See how that works? Yeah, no, that was fantastic. You know what? Let's find out what the judges said and uh, see who actually won this fight. That works for me. All right. All right, we're putting it all in the computer. We're getting it figured out. Talk amongst yourselves. Who do you think got it? You can cheer for them. It's allowed. Remember, nothing but positivity, nothing but love. Let them hear it. These ladies putting in the work tonight, making the judges put in the work as well. All right, one more time, let's hear it for these two warriors. What'd you guys think?
This one going all the way to the judges. So let's see what they thought. Rich Montanez with a score of 29-28. Dan First with a score of 28-28. Ooh. Dennis McMahon with a score of 29-28. Your winner by majority decision, out of the black corner, Kara Gutierrez! All right, I'm here with your winner, Kara Gutierrez. That was a great fight. You came out with aggression from the first round all the way through to the third round. How are you feeling right now? I feel really good. Yeah, did anything happen in that fight that caught you off guard? Um, no, not really. I was just training to be a lot more aggressive and just a lot of volume, so I just tried my best. <laughs> Well, you put on a hell of a show, so you should be proud of yourself. Now, your husband fought earlier tonight, and you guys are both going away with a hand raise, right? Yes, sir, we are. <laughs> that is fantastic. Is there anyone you want to thank tonight? Yes, of course. I'd like to thank, first and foremost, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'd also like to thank my team, everyone at Catch Valley Martial Arts, uh, my corner, Kofi. He's an amazing instructor, just a humble person all around, the nicest person you'll ever meet. Carly just has helped me get to where I need to be. And, of course, uh, my family, my friends, and my husband. All right. Are you going to come back here and do this for us again? Yes, of course. All right. Well, congratulations. We can't wait to see you come back. Everyone give it up for your winner, Cara Gutierrez! Do not mess with the Gutierrez family. They are here. They're taking care of business. They're going home tonight with two wins. Congratulations. One more picture, and you're officially done. <laughs>